So this is the Diamond engine. It's a zero emission engine that runs on liquid nitrogen. Uh, it produces power, uh, but also produces cooling as a result of uh, the nature of its fuel. It has a number of applications because of that mix of power and cooling uh, in transport uh, and also elsewhere. It is zero emission at the point of use. Uh, it is cheap to manufacture and it uh, presents a good business case for the operator. You're not only helping the environment, but you're also saving money. So the way in which the TDAP is helping Dearman is it's enabling us to accelerate the industrialization effort. So what that means is in addition to the technical work that Dearman will be doing anyway, we're able to combine that with manufacturing expertise and really understanding what the customers want. So the programme is important to Dearman because it enables us to apply resources and expertise that we wouldn't have otherwise been able to access. And that what the contribution of that is, is effectively accelerating our entry into the marketplace and the return on investment that the state and our shareholders have made in this technology. The demand for cooling is increasing, not only in the UK and the EU, but even more so globally in places like China um, and India. Public pressure is increasing to sort out our air quality. We have huge issues, not only in this country, but especially globally. There is legislation coming down the track starting in the EU, but also DEFRA in the UK has been asked by Christmas to draw up plans to um, improve our air quality in this country. Diamond technology will immediately improve local air quality at a time when local councils and governments are drawing up plans to improve air quality.